Check one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here. Always a good day to learn something new. Uh, I had an idea to try to be able to play uh, samples in Tractor, kind of like a synthesizer. So what I have here is um, one note to Rhodes C3 loaded into a track deck. And what I've done is map this octave to play and also change the tempo. So I've got it kind of close. So now that's all playing the same note and you'll see the tempo go up. got it kind of close but I noticed that it was off so what I did was I go over to this, this um, app on my iPhone it's a guitar tuner and you can see C's dead on when I go up to D a little bit it tells me it's off so I go into where I'm um, mapping it which is in here and I got the note D and the value. See, the value is what's changing the tempo slider. So I can change that to say 0.11, which is down a little bit. And that's flat. So do um, 0.12 instead. Still a little flat, so let's do 1.122, 1, 1, 1, That's still a little bit up, so let's do 0.122. And now I'll just follow that same. idea. Now it does speed up and slow down the sample, so it works pretty much uh, better with n single notes than it does with um, actual things with rhythm, but I mean, you know, that's just me trying to say that you can do something and you can decide if you want to do it or not. So. off the key lock. So uh, hopefully that'll give you a couple ideas on how to play samples in Tractor kind of like a synthesizer because you can plug in any single note. I just happen to have a whole library full of keys and mix sounds. You got a Moog bass in here. Let's see how that sounds. got a kind of got a cool slide and when I'm done I'll be able to go down an octave too um, so hopefully I'll give you a couple ideas DJ Divine Justice always a good day to learn something new peace